All right. So today I'm going to do a song overview for you uh, from an artist that I'm a, a big fan of. I uh, discovered him uh, about two years ago, I'd say, and I have been a fan ever since. I had the opportunity to see him in concert at the Florida Theater in Jacksonville uh, earlier this year with some with my wife and with some great friends. And uh, we are going to review the song uh, Long Distance Woman by Chris Stone, Kingfish Ingram, commonly known just as Kingfish. Great blues rock guitar player, young guy, but just a fabulous player. He kind of has a great blend of old school blues and kind of a newer rock sensibility. So he's really a blues rock guy. So again, this is Long Distance Woman by Kingfish. It is a, a riff song. It's got some great chords in it, but it is based on this really cool riff that pivots off of the open E. So I'm going to play it and then we'll break it down. So that's the main riff. Again, I was saying it pivots off of that open E. All right. So I'm going to get open E. A hammer on from D to E on your fifth string. That's fifth fret, seventh fret. I'm going to hit pivot on the open E again. And then I'm now going to pivot from C sharp to D on the A string, fourth fret to fifth fret. Again, open E. And then I've got a longer run. You can just do a pull off here from E to D, and then you can go on the sixth string, B flat, sixth fret, A fifth fret, and then G third fret, and I'll add a little vibrato. The other thing that you can add to it is you can do a hammer on pull off, which I think sounds better. I've seen some live clips of Kingfish playing this live, and he actually plays that last part of the lick sometimes, at least, uh, down here in first position. So. I'm starting with the D on the fifth fret, hammering on the E, and then pulling back off back to the D, right, on the A string. Then the three note run, B flat, A, G. All right, so now I'm going to do this main riff here, the beginning of the riff, and then I'll finish it here in first position just so you can see that. Right, so that's got a certain ring to it when you open uh, add an open string gives it a different sound just a slightly different sound just because the open string rings a certain way it's got a certain kind of uh, uh, pattern to the sound i guess you could say all right so that's uh the main riff then we've got uh, an e5 e power chord So remember with an E power chord, an E5, I'm only hitting the top strings. I'm not going all the way across. It's a real small strum, and I'm muting the strings after each one. I've got a rest after each one of those. And you guessed it, I'm muting with both hands. I'm muting at the right hand right here, right across the strings on the bridge, near the bridge. And here, I'm kind of draping the fingers back across to mute at the left hand. So here's the simple way to play the rest of the song. You've got a G. You can just do power chords if you want. Um, I like playing some other chords because he's definitely got some other stuff going on. But G, A, C, D. And then this next chord is D sharp over B. It goes into the riff. And that was G, A, C, D. What a super cool song. Check that song out. That's enough to get you started on it. Come back and see me. We'll keep on working on it and get the finer details, get it all worked out. Have fun with that. Talk to you later.